What's going on everyone? Vince here with Life with Vince and in today's video I will be doing a first impressions of these Nike React Milers. But before we get into the video, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button, it'd really help me out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing on this YouTube channel. I'll talk about a bunch of different things. Jiu-Jitsu, powerlifting, ultra running, my career as a California real estate agent, once a week, I have a Q&A video, and also once a week, I have a live stream. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. With that being said, let's get into it. And I do have to preface this. This is actually my second pair of Nike React Milers. I love my first pair so much that I had to get a second pair. As you can see with my first pair, they have around 1,500 miles in on them or so, and they are definitely over mileage. That's why I had to pick up a second pair. In terms of the aesthetics of the shoe, I really do like how the Nike React Milers look and also color, as you can tell with this shoe, it's mostly white, a little bit of black, and then also a little bit of blue. And also another thing that I really like about the Nike React Milers, because I do run at night from time to time, it does have a little bit of reflective material. And the good news about this colorway and this colorway right now on the Nike website, both of these are 43% off. Usually the Nike React Milers cost $130, but right now you can get both of these for $72.97, which is 43% off. I'm gonna put the other colorways of the Nike React Milers on the Nike website up right here. Eight colorways total, but I ended up getting these because they were so discounted. Specs of the shoes, I am a size eight and a half in men's. One shoe weighs 297 grams, which is 10.37 ounces. In terms of the heel, it's a 31 millimeter heel with a 10 millimeter drop ending at a 21 millimeter forefoot. With that being said, time to take these babies out on a test run. Just got back from my run and ended up going for a half marathon. And as you can see, no longer perfectly white. And these feel as good as I remember them. Lately, I haven't been running in the old pair just because they are a bit over mileage. And I've actually been running in the Nike Peg 37s, but with the Peg 37s, they are a little bit tight in the forefoot. And even though I use both eyelets in the Nike Peg 37s, there is still a little bit of heel slippage. So as you can tell, I am a big fan of the Nike React Milers, such a big fan that I had to get the shoes for a second time. And I like the shoes a lot because of the feel, the fit, the look, and the price. And I'll make sure to do a follow-up video around 500 miles in the shoes, and again at 1,000 miles, just to see how they hold up this time around. So thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helped me out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing on this YouTube channel. I'll come out with daily content. Mondays, real estate, Tuesdays, Q&A, Wednesdays, live stream, Thursdays, miscellaneous, Fridays, jiu-jitsu, Saturdays, reviews slash searchable videos, and Sundays, ultra running. If you want to catch another one of my videos, there's a video right here, and there's a video right here. See you all tomorrow.